Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to look at the gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. So what you first do is you just take a basic shape or any shape or whatever you've done. Select it. And here at the bottom, select for your fill, you select gradient. So you get this as gradient. Now here on the side, you have your gradient uh, controls. So basically what you can do is choose the type of gradient you want. You can make it linear or radial. Now radial is, it goes from the center outwards and linear goes from one side to the other. So let's just leave that a linear. Now here you have your angle at which your gradient goes from which side of the shape to which side. So you can see when it starts off at zero, it's from left to right. If I change the angle, it starts moving. Now there's a better way to do that. Let's just keep this as zero. You select your shape and you select your gradient tool here. Now you can see you've got your line here. Now let's just say you want the gradient to go from the left hand top corner to the right hand bottom corner. Just select and drag. That's it. It's that simple. If you want some other way, just do that. Change it to however you want. It's much easier than using this, the angles here. Now let's just take the left hand top corner to the right hand bottom corner. And see this, the angle is minus 44. Now you won't actually know that unless you're good in math, but it's better to use your gradient tool here and just select the direction from which your gradient goes. Now you can do this with any shape. See it's only come as a gradient here because we've selected the gradient fill. Now for the circle let's give a linear, a radial fill sorry. And is, as you can see the default is from the center outwards. Now again select your gradient tool and select how you want it. As you can see here, this looks a little like a 3D sphere, not because of the gradient. Your color is everything. Your gradients can make your look, objects look 3D, so just you just need a little bit of practice with that. So let's look at gradient for text right now. Select the text tool. Now here, as you can see, even though you've selected gradient, nothing happens. So what you first need to do is select your text, go into object and say expand. Now it makes your text into a shape. So as you can see, it's made everything into a shape. Now you select it, select gradient, and it adds the gradient to every uh, letter in your text. So again, select your gradient tool. So linear, select your gradient tool, and that's it. It's that simple. If you want to go from up to down, just do that. It's really that simple, but you first need to convert your text into an object. That's the only way you can add a gradient to text. And once it's an object, you cannot edit the text. You can't actually edit it. So once you're certain of whatever text you want to use, that's when you expand and use your gradient. That's it for the gradient tool. Just practice a little. It's really simple. And also here you can choose your colors. You go into gradient. Let's take this.
choose any color you want it's that simple so here you can see again it looks a little 3d but that's just the coloring It's really that simple so just keep practicing a little and thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this uh, subscribe for more thank you